Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. OM Digital Solutions has just announced a new camera, the Olympus OM-1. I'm really excited and want to talk about this camera in this video. Let's do this! Before we dive in, here are some important disclaimers. I am still an Olympus visionary at this moment. My contract is expiring soon. I'm not sure whether my contract will be renewed or not. It doesn't really matter. But at this point, I'm still an Olympus visionary. And no, I don't have the camera. I have not seen the new Olympus OM-1. I haven't played with it. I know a lot of you have been sending me emails, questions on the YouTube comments asking me, hey Robin, are these new photographs that you're sharing on your Facebook page and your blog, are they taken with the new Olympus OM-1? No, I have not used the camera before. I have no information whatsoever. OM Digital Solutions has zero contact with me. I have nothing from them. I haven't heard anything from them, not even a single email. And whatever that I know, I know it during the launch, the announcement, the official press release, and I don't have any additional information to share. So my quick thoughts that I'm sharing in this video are derived directly from my first impressions looking at the Pebble specifications from the official announcement. Obviously, this is not a review of the Olympus OM-1 camera. I don't have the camera at this point. I don't think I'm going to get a review sample. Malaysia is pretty much being cut off. I may have to buy my own camera to do a review, but that's okay. We will cross the bridge when we come to it. I will not do a deep dive into the specifications. If you want to do that, you can do it on your own. I'll put a link to the product page in the description below. You can check it out. What I want to do in this video, two things. Number one, I want to go through the huge improvements that are worth mentioning in the Olympus OM-1 camera, which I think are worth mentioning anyway. And I want to answer the question, is this Olympus OM-1 the WOW camera? Number one, new image sensor, finally. After a long six years since 2016, the launch of EM1 Mark II, now we have a new image sensor in the Olympus OM-1. It is a 20 megapixels stacked CMOS sensor. It features four photodiodes, which will be merged into a single pixel. This is an optimized output, similar to say in 80 megapixels, merged and optimized into a 20 megapixels image sensor. There is no official claim on how much improvement there is in high ISO shooting, low light performance, or dynamic range, but I'm sure there is some improvement. I can't wait to test it myself. If I can get my hands on the Olympus OM-1, I'm really curious to see how much better the dynamic range in high ISO can get. But for now, I'm sure there is some improvement, but hey, who knows? Maybe the improvement is just a little bit, maybe it's significant, and I do wish that we get a significant boost in performance. Number two, autofocus improvements. The OM Digital Solutions has reworked the autofocus system for the Olympus OM-1. From 121 autofocus points in previous cameras, now we get 1,053 focusing points. That's 10 times more focusing points to work with. And each of these focusing points features a cross-type focusing, which is more sensitive for face detection autofocus, which will help in subject continuous tracking mode. And there is the new AI subject detection, which tracks new subjects such as animals, which includes dogs and cats. And to me, that's really useful because I shoot a lot of cats. Jokes aside, I'm really excited to see how much improvement there is in autofocus. Is it better in low light? Is it more confident? Is the tracking improved? Can it compete with finally Sony and Canon? All this is yet to be concluded. I'm really excited to see how much OM Digital Solutions can really push the autofocus in this new Olympus OM-1. But based on the paper specifications, it looks really promising. And there is this new quad cross pixel autofocus. Whatever that is, I don't even know how it works. This is all new to me. I've just read this in the press release, but I'm really, really curious and I want to find out. And I'm sure this is all good things. Number three, 
Upgraded electronic viewfinder. To me, a huge part of shooting experience using a camera is shooting through the viewfinder. Olympus managed to fit in a high resolution 5.76 million dots OLED panel in the new Olympus OM1. And that's a huge thing. I think OLED panel for some people it is better because they shoot with wearing sunglasses so if they turn the camera a certain way they can't see certain things if it is lcd i don't know to me it doesn't really matter i don't wear sunglasses but olympus claims or om digital solutions claim that they maintain the high refresh rate of 120 frames per second that's a huge deal because one of the advantage of using olympus electronic viewfinders versus any other cameras from other brands is the smoothness of the electronic viewfinder when you pan a camera left and right quickly there is no jagginess it is not choppy it is always very very smooth and comfortable and especially if you shoot in low light you can see the advantage of the olympus electronic viewfinder although the previous viewfinders they were lower in resolution versus the competition but it is always very smooth and comfortable and if they really can maintain that as claim 120 frames per second it is really huge and there's minimal lag as well it is only 0.005 seconds that's negative it is as if you're looking at real time and I think that will be a huge welcome. Now I don't know if OM Digital Solutions managed to maintain the color consistency between the electronic viewfinder and the LCD screen. To me that's very important. What I see through the viewfinder, I want it to be exactly the same as what I see on the LCD screen. This is a problem in a lot of other cameras from other brands, especially Sony and Nikon, the Nikon Z series. Oh my goodness, when you look at the electronic viewfinder and the LCD screen, they are both completely different things, right? The color profile is so different. And Olympus managed to maintain this throughout all the cameras in the past. I just wish and I really hope they can do the same in this new Olympus OM-1. Number four, upgrades in video shooting. Finally! OM Digital Solutions is paying attention to the video capability of the new camera. I'm not a cinematographer, I'm new when it comes to video recording, I'm not the best person to comment on the video capability of any camera, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm excited about, the improvements that I like and will make a difference to what I do. I only create a very simple content, videos that you see that I publish here in this YouTube channel, so I don't need like a cinema grade camera for high super high value production. I don't do those kinds of video. I just do very, very simple YouTube videos. So we get now finally 4K 60 and 240 frames per second full HD recording. To me, that's huge, right? To me, that's really something that I can use for the videos that I do in this channel. And for some people, if you want to output the video raw, you can record it raw, but you need an external recorder to record that. I'm obviously not gonna do any of that. It's too advanced. It is beyond me. And of course, with the new image sensor, I'm expecting improvement in resolution, dynamic range, high eyes, or in color tonality and with new processor and AI I hope that the autofocus is improved as well add to that we still get the powerful image stabilization from Olympus for video I think this will be a serious machine for content creators not necessarily for Hollywood or those super high quality production those who are into cinematography I don't know I need a proper qualified person to tell me if it's good enough. But for me, it doesn't matter. For a content creator, all these huge improvements are welcome. Number five, dual memory card slots with both slots featuring UHS-2 high-speed cards. And to me, that's extremely important as a photographer. All previous Olympus cameras, it only features the first slot UHS-2 high speed and the second slot is the slower UHS-1. I believe that the second slot slows down and cripples the camera's full capability. I want to be able to use both slots. Sometimes I shoot mirror, meaning that both cards will take in the exact same either video or photos that I'm shooting. And sometimes I burst or shoot in high speed. I need to make sure that both cards are fast enough to capture the moment or whatever that I'm doing. Now, both cards are UHS-2 compatible. I have less things to worry about. 
I want to quickly comment on the naming of the new camera, Olympus or M1. I think it is great to keep the Olympus brand, it is recognizable, it is a household name, and it has a strong legacy behind it, and I'm really happy to see an Olympus camera, an OM1. That's the right way to name a camera. OM refers to Olympus Maitani. It goes back to the OM series film cameras, which was highly successful for Olympus. And one signifies the new beginning, the first ever OM Digital Solutions, OM Systems camera. I'm glad I kept the Olympus brand, though I don't know how long this is going to happen. All the new lenses are already OM system instead of Olympus, but we will see. I guess based on the five improvements that I've mentioned, you can tell that I'm really excited about this new Olympus OM-1 camera. I really like the huge improvements. I think these improvements and upgrades are quite significant. It is something that all of us are waiting for. And if you are a professional photographer shooting with my Crow 4 Thirds system, this is the next best camera that you can look forward to if you want an upgrade. However, this doesn't answer the question whether this is the WOW camera. Is the Olympus OM-1 the WOW camera? My honest, honest answer, no. Hear me out. So how do I define a WOW camera? The perfect example is the original Olympus OMD EM-5, the first OMD from Olympus. Why is the EM-5 original a game changer? It redefines what a mirrorless camera can do. It sets the benchmark for all other camera manufacturers to follow. It was the first camera to feature 5 axis image stabilization. The new image sensor 16 megapixel back then was a huge step up from the 12 megapixels image sensor from any other previous cameras. It has a huge improvement in dynamic range, high ISO and resolution. It closes the gap between micro four thirds and APS-C and full frame cameras. Of course, I'm not saying it is better, but the gap is smaller. And the camera is so small, so portable, it is rugged, it's magnesium alloy in build, it's weather sealed. It was first of its kind. It has built-in electronic viewfinder. Everything in the camera is just fantastic. It was, it was truly a wonder. It was a wow camera. And I believe that Olympus has not successfully replicated this formula. I don't think they have any wow cameras ever since. Not even this new OM-1 Olympus. Yes, the Olympus OM-1 camera has significant upgrades, bigger and higher resolution electronic viewfinder, new image sensor, which I hope will have a lot of improvements, better video capabilities, everything is improved. Of course, these improvements are significant. And myself, as a professional photographer, I'm seriously looking at upgrading to the Olympus OM-1. But is it truly a wow camera? No, there's nothing new. There's nothing game-changing, there's nothing groundbreaking, and this is just me being honest. And I'm not saying that, and I'm not asking OM system to beat any other cameras out there. I'm not asking the OM-1 camera to be the best of the best. That's not what they're aiming for. I understand the philosophies, the DNA of the camera, and what the company is trying to do. They're not trying to be the best of the best in terms of specifications, and that's okay. The race is never ending. But Looking at the OM-1, there is nothing truly special. That's just how I felt. That's all I have to share about my quick thoughts on the newly launched Olympus OM-1 camera. Do you agree or disagree with my assessment? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below or you think this is truly the wow camera that we have all been waiting for. I want to hear your thoughts. If you've enjoyed watching my video, if you found this sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way, will definitely help me to continue making similar videos and publish them right here. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.